Yes. Um, again, we're going to start actually with the band at our knees, but lying back on our backs. So I'm going to move this up. Um, and you want to make sure that the band is flat so that it doesn't cut into your skin. If it's all bunched up, that can really hurt. So get that band as flat as possible around your knees. Above the knees will make it harder as well. And we're going to start all the way down. And already, there go the glasses. Okay, so feet are going to be at least hips width apart. You want to be able to feel the resistance of the band. So make sure that you're far enough apart that you can feel it activating the outer thighs, the legs, the glutes. So from here, we're going to relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Pull the belly button in, and I want you to imprint. So don't lift your butt off, just imprint. And then release to neutral. Inhale. Exhale, abs in. Imprint and release. And release. That's it, breathe. Now we're gonna hold neutral spine so you have your space at the low back. Take a deep breath in and exhale, still with the band at your knees, bring the right leg to tabletop. Inhale, lower down, exhale, switch. Keeping this tight the whole time. So again, neutral spine. Last one. Okay, we're gonna bridge and crunch. We're gonna alternate. So I want you to inhale at the bottom and then exhale, imprint. Roll the low back up. Again, pressing out against that band a little bit. Inhale at the top and then exhale. One vertebrae at a time, feel that scoop, roll down, hands come behind your head, exhale up, inhale down, exhale bridge, inhale at the top, and exhale, roll it down, inhale at the bottom, exhale, Okay, now coming back down, we're gonna go up into that bridge and stay there, stay in that bridge, so still with your band. You're going to exhale, lengthen the leg out, inhale, bring it down, exhale, switch. You still wanna keep neutral spine. You don't want your hips to come up and down. Last one. Now you're gonna take the hips halfway down and then lift all the way up. Still pressing out with the band, halfway down, all the way up. Now you should be getting warm through the legs here just from holding that tension against your band. You're gonna slowly roll down. 
Bring the knees into your chest, take the band off. We'll just set it off to the side for now and give those knees a hug. We're gonna go into the 100. So you're gonna take the legs to tabletop, imprint the low back, curl the upper body up, and then pulse the arch. So inhale for five. If you wanna make it harder, lengthen those legs out. Good, pull your knees into your chest. Going right into single leg stretch. Inhale with the right leg, exhale with the left. Hands behind your head, hold the upper body still. Good. Pull your knees into your chest. Arms are going to go up in the air for the reverse crunch. So just imprint your low back and release. Legs go straight as possible for alternating kicks. Curl the upper body up and then double pulse and switch. And right into your crisscross, opposite shoulder to knee. that rest for just one second and then double leg stretch I only want six everything's gonna pull in tight inhale as you reach exhale wrap it around that's it oh so good I definitely am warm through the abs there. Okay, coming on to your side, we're gonna do double leg kicks. So hitting those obliques, your body's in a straight line. You're balancing on that bottom hip, hips are square, and we're gonna kick. So the legs moving is trying to throw your spine out of alignment. So how hard can you keep that core in tight? Suck those abs in and hold it nice and still. Okay, feet come together, and you're gonna lift and lower the legs for 10. That's it. Now the legs go down, and the upper body's gonna crunch up. So the top arm goes straight, and we lift. And now we're gonna do both, upper and lower. And switch sides, way to go. Take it up and over. Again, starting with the double leg swings. Hips are stacked, abs are in, and scissor the legs. Up 
upper body, the, or the lower body, legs pulse. Now the upper body. Top arm goes straight. You're going to support your head with the bottom arm and crunch up. Now both, upper and lower, for 10. Nice job, onto your back. We're gonna go into the roll up. So legs anchor down, your arms reach up over your head. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach over those toes, go as far as you can, and then exhale, drop the shoulders, tuck the tailbone, and slowly take it down. Arms go up, exhale. Inhale, reach over your toes, and exhale, roll back down. Going a little bit farther every time you come up. One more. Hold right there, breathe into that stretch and drop the shoulders. Take it back down. Good, keeping your hands on the floor. Legs go up and we're gonna do the roll over. So exhale as your feet go up and over your head. And if you need, I'm just gonna wiggle down. If you need to use your hands to support your hips to help you go over, that's totally fine. So from here, exhale. Inhale as your legs go shoulder width apart, and then exhale, roll it down. Inhale, feet come back together. Exhale, take it up and over. Inhale, legs go shoulder width apart. Now we're gonna reverse the legs. Exhale, your legs go over shoulder width apart. Inhale, bring them together. And exhale, unroll with the feet together. One more. We're gonna take one leg down and go right into single leg circles. So find that neutral spine, spread the collarbones wide, abs are in tight, go across the body, down, and then straight up. Across, down, and up. So energy shooting out both legs. And reverse, straight down, across the body, and up. Switch legs. Across the body and up. And reverse. That's it. Good, pull both knees into your chest, give it a hug. And we're gonna flip over onto our stomachs for some back work. So turning over, gotta tighten my hair here. It's falling out of its ponytail. 
Okay, so onto your stomach. We're gonna start with that single leg kick. So one leg comes up, double kick, lift, lengthen, and lower. Kick, lift, lengthen, switch. Now double leg kicks. Hands lock behind your back. The legs stay together and you have one ear down. You're gonna do three kicks. You lift the whole body, lift and lengthen. And then you turn your head to the other side and come down. Three kicks. Last one. Okay, for this one, we're gonna start with just the prep. So holding that orange underneath your chin, exhale as you push up, inhale as you come back down. Now we only lift as high as we feel comfortable. It should never hurt your low back. So exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up. Now we're going to do the catch and release. So on this, you exhale, push up, and then energy out the legs and the arms as you shoot your hands off the front of your mat, and you catch. Let's do it again. Arms shoot off, and catch. Now you can catch lower so you don't have as much um, extension in your spine. That's okay too. Off, and catch. Okay, now, if you want to stay there, give me three more of the catch and release. If you want to do the full swan, you're going to shoot your arms to your ears and just rock back and forth. We'll do three. So exhale. Now pull back into child's pose and stretch out your low back. Nice job. Okay, grabbing your band, we're gonna go into plank and then push-ups with the band. So this way, you're gonna put the band at your wrist so that your hands can be flat or if you wanna knuckle it, you can do that as well. So from here, we're gonna start with push-ups. So coming out, just so that you have enough resistance and that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. If you wanna stay on your knees, that's fine. Make sure no butt's up. So tuck that tailbone under, elbow slide right by your rib cage, and then exhale as you come up. Now I'd rather have you keep that good form through your spine and go a half inch bend in your elbows. See that teeny bend? Then go all the way down and have things shifting and moving and shaking. We don't want that. So let's do three. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down. One more. Now you're gonna walk it back into the elephant, still with the band at your hands, so you get that extra resistance at your arms. Just hang for one second. We're gonna walk it back out and do it again. So hand over hand, take it back out, and then three more push-ups. So again, tuck the tailbone under, pull the abs in tight, inhale lower, Exhale up. Feel free to go up onto your toes. Now let's walk it back. Again, adding the band just brings a new element of resistance that's great for the arms. We're gonna do one more set. So hold right here, enjoy this stretch, and take it out. Three more push-ups. Inhale down. Exhale up, abs in, tuck that tailbone, 
and walk it back. So hold right here. I want you to focus on those hamstrings for a minute and just breathe into that stretch. Feel that. It should feel really good. And then I'm going to keep the band at my hands. We're going to walk it back out for plank. So again, as we go into plank, if you need to drop to your knees, you can. This is bad. Don't let your hips sink to the floor. And no butts up either. So find that nice long line. And you're going to tap one hand off your mat and then switch. Abs in, hold neutral spine. Okay, shake that off. My shoulders are on fire. The band totally makes it that much harder. It's so good. Okay, taking it back, we're just gonna hold so we have resistance in plank, but you're gonna do toe taps now. So out and switch. So still holding neutral spine. Good, let that rest. So again, even holding with the band fire in the shoulders and it's good to strengthen the rotator cuff and the little stabilizers with the band. That's why it's a good tool. Okay, last one from back in plank. Lift the arm off and switch. gosh so good okay we're gonna go into leg work so with the band around the ankles we're gonna start here on your side relax the upper body down and pull those abs in so I'm gonna start with my legs parallel and you're just gonna lift in parallel for ten That's it. Now, you're gonna externally rotate. So now your toes are pointing up to the ceiling. Give me 10 more, nice and slow. Now you're gonna go back to peril and now internally rotate. So toes down, heels up, 10 more. Oh man, burning and we've only done 30 reps. We're gonna take the band up to the knees and again, remember to keep it flat. You don't want it to cut in. It is easier if the band goes below your knees. It's harder if the band is above your knees. I will let you choose. I don't care either way. So the clam, your feet are together up in the air. Rotate up and then back down. Neutral spine. And 10. Nice job. So we're going to take it up and over to the other side and the band is going to go back to the ankles. We're going to do the exact same thing starting in parallel. Everything's in a straight line. Bottom leg is down. Abs are in and lift. Now, external rotation. Your toes point up to the ceiling. Ten more. Nice and slow. Keep 
keep this tight. Now internal rotation, so back to parallel, toes down, heel up for 10. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling this so good. Now I'm gonna take it up to my knees for the clam. So again, flatten it out. Feet stay together, knees are bent, and feet are in the air. Externally rotate. Way to go. Take that band off. We're going to set it off to the side. I want to do the climb a tree. So we're going to come up to sitting. Anchor one leg down on your mat. So imagine that that heel is in cement. You're going to hold behind the other knee. If you have tight hamstrings, you can lengthen the leg out. To make it harder, hook your elbow there. We're going to bend and straighten for 10. Abs are in. That's it. Now hold the leg straight. Let's flex and point. Huge calf stretch. Wow. Now we're going to hinge back. Try to keep your leg in that same spot as you roll back onto your mat. Exhale, climb up your leg. Inhale, take it down. That's it. Good. Hold that stretch and switch legs. Way to go. Anchor that heel. Other leg comes up. If you held with your elbow on the other side, please do on this leg and let's bend and straighten. So again, abs are in. Now hold, flex and point. Ouch. Now let's climb the tree, hinging back. Exhale, power up. Coming straight up the leg and then back down. One more. Now hold, hold, breathe into that big stretch. And bring it down. Okay, going into the ups. You're gonna be on your side. The bottom arm is down by your hip on the floor. I don't want it over your head. That makes it so much harder and is, isn't necessary. So bring that hand down. The other arm goes up over your head. If you need to keep your knees bent, that's okay, but I want you to try it with the legs straight. You rock back onto your butt cheek and come up into that V. Come back down and you roll all the way sideways. So now you rock back onto the hip and then you come sideways as you come down. That's it, I want 10. 
Nice and slow. Now hold at the top for pulses. Now you're gonna bend the knees and in and out. Still on the one hip. Switch sides, way to go. So you start on your side, the bottom hand is on the floor by the hip. Top arm is over your head, rock back onto the hip as you come up. And then all the way sideways. Exhale up, and all the way sideways. Now hold at the top and pulse. Now bend the knees and you're gonna go in and out. You're on one hip. Nice job. Oh, I feel that a lot. So good. Okay, I want to go into the teaser. So we're going to just make our gradual modifications, starting with one leg up, one foot down. We're going to do three. So exhale, you're going to come up and reach for your toes. Now as you come up, think of leading with the chest so we don't want to be rounded. You want to keep that open and then roll down. One more. Let's switch legs. Now, legs come, knees are bent. Exhale as you come up. Once you're up, straighten the legs, reach for the toes. Bend the knees, roll back down. Two more. Now, you're going to do three more where you lengthen the leg straight as you come up. That's it. Okay, and the last three, we're going to start with the legs down. Everything rises up together and then lowers down together. We're only going to do three. Exhale as you come up. Slow coming down. You got this. One more. Oh, so good. Nice job. I actually want to do knee sways next. So arms go out to the side. This is going to help stretch out the back. Both knees go to one side, look to the other. And then exhale, switch. Let the hip come up as you twist and switch. Oh, wow. Other side. Nice, coming back to center. I want you to come up because we're gonna do the boomerang. So we've done the roll up, the roll over, and teasers. Let's put it all together. You're gonna start with the right leg crossed over the left. And from here, your hands are just gonna stay on the floor for now. You're gonna roll back and into the plow. So from here, feet go up and over your head. 
Right here, you switch the legs, reverse them the other way. Exhale, use your hands to come up into a teaser, hold your balance point, let go with the hands, arms come behind your back, and you lower your legs. Slowly bring your nose to your knees, and then let go with the hands, grab the ankles, and lengthen up through the spine. Left leg is on top. Let's take it up and over into the plow. Switch your legs up into your teaser. Hands come behind your back. Lower the legs. Nose to knees. Grab those ankles. And lengthen up. We're going to do it just twice more. Right legs on top. Last one, up and over into your plow. <sighs> nice job. I want to do the side or the side stretch, the mermaid stretch. So you're gonna sit with both legs going the same direction. You're gonna come down to the side, your elbow goes down on the floor and you open that up. So a huge stretch through the obliques, the lats, and your low back. Now you're gonna grab the front knee and go the other way. And with the way that our legs are shaped, it might be a more intense stretch going this way. And take it again, all the way over. And up. And again, take it over. And this time you're gonna rotate your shoulders towards the floor and really stretch that arm. And then we're gonna do the same over here. You're gonna bring it over and then rotate. Just a slight change in that stretch. One more. Take it over and twist. Bring it up and switch. Rotate those shoulders. Okay, legs are gonna swing around the other way. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So take it over, keeping that hip down. It's gonna deepen your stretch. Bring it back, grab the front knee, and take it off. Again, over. And up. This time we're gonna add the twist. So come down onto the elbow and then rotate those shoulders towards the mat. Bring it back to center. Same thing over. Twist your shoulders towards the mat. One more. Nice. Okay, coming back down onto your back. We're gonna do a little bit more with the abs. So as we crunch, I want you to think about the belly button sucking to your spine the whole time, okay? Hands come behind your head so you're supporting your neck. Feet are flat. You're going to imprint, exhale, lift, so slow. Focus on that deep exhale. Now legs come to tabletop. Keep crunching, but make sure that the knees don't curl in. I need your knees directly over your hip the whole time for this. harder when you have to hold the legs up.
Now legs go straight. Keep going. Now as we lift the upper body, we're gonna do a reverse crunch at the same time. So upper and lower body lift and lower. And bring that down. Oh, so good. Nice job. Totally feeling the burn. Okay, I want to bring the right knee into your chest and let's lengthen that out. Help stretch out those hip flexors a little bit. If you want to keep the knee straight, you can. If you want to deepen it and change what you stretch just a little bit, take the knee out to the side. Both stretches are great. Remember to breathe into it and switch legs. So the knee comes up, open the front of the hip flexor, take it to the side if you want to change the stretch a little, and then breathe. Bring that foot down, the leg goes straight up for the hamstring stretch. So from here, gently pull the leg towards you as long as your knee is straight. That's good. Go ahead and switch legs. Other leg up. And knee is straight, and then pull the leg towards you. it in. Now for an inner thigh stretch, you're going to take the leg up and using the hand on that same side, you're going to support the leg as you take it out to the side. And you're going to feel that through the inner thigh. Just hold that stretch. And you can go as low as you want. Your range of motion might be different than mine. Let's switch sides. Leg comes up, externally rotate, use your hand, support that leg. Now the figure four. Cross the ankle on the knee, bring the knees into your chest and give it a hug. You're gonna fill it through that hip And switch sides. Ankle on the knee, turn the knee out, and bring the knees into your chest. Bring the feet down. You're going to walk your feet off your mat. Both knees are going to go to one side, and you're going to open up that quad and hip flexor. Breathe into that, and if you pull your belly button in, that will deepen your stretch. Switch sides. That's good. Coming back to center. Lengthen those legs out. Take a deep breath in. And come on up. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time.